Hi, Angie Wagler here for Arise Now in the Two Minute Wake Up Call. Well, I'm trying to resolve an issue this morning and I thought, hey, I think there's a little lesson in it, so I'm gonna share with you what's happening. Uh, a little bit ago, I ordered an item and it was delivered and everything seemed fine. There was no packing slip with the order, but I didn't really give it a whole lot of thought. Well, this week I received another order from the same company and Paul said to me, what did you order? And I'm like, hmm, I think everything I ordered came, but who knows? So I opened it up and sure enough, it was something I had not ordered. And um, it's this electronic rodent trap. Um, something that might be handy, but I didn't order it. But what came in the box was my packing slip and also a packing slip for the fellow who ordered this who hasn't received it yet. So it got me to thinking, it got me to thinking that not everything that comes in the mail with my name on it is actually for me. Sometimes we get mail that's the neighbor's mail that's dropped in the mailbox and um, it's just a mistake. Every Christmas we get a Christmas card from I'm not sure who, but it's the same people over and over with no return address. Um, probably meant for someone who lived here, but I expect we'll receive it again this Christmas. Well, Ephesians 6 tells us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Not everything that comes our way is for us. No, it says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual powers of wickedness in the heavenly realms. Yes, there's a spiritual reality, there's a spiritual dimension um, that is superimposed over the natural. And it, 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 the words may come, um, the hurtful stuff may come from our brothers and sisters, may come from our neighbors, but the original intent behind is an enemy who wants to take us down. He wants to kill us. He wants to destroy us. He wants to wound us. But God's heart for us is good. Do you get that? God's heart for us is good. It tells us in Ephesians 6 that we are to lift up a shield of faith to block the fiery darts of the enemy. The enemy's intent is to hurt us, to wound us. Get that shield of faith up. Hear what God is saying about you and believe that. Don't believe the fiery darts of the enemy. And if you have been hit, there is healing for that as well. Well, on that note, I want to encourage you to think on that, to think on that. God's heart for you is good. And he's got good mail. Don't receive the mail from the enemy. Well, until we meet again, I invite you to stay awake and stay alert.